All right, so welcome to the car. I'll be filming with one hand, so I apologize for anything that's out of frame or out of focus. So basically we have our disk drive. I went ahead and grabbed a, a press CD of uh, Phantom of the Opera. I'm gonna take the, uh, the cord and just plug it into the USB port. It gives me power. What we need to do is press and hold the eject button for two seconds. That turns it into the uh, from optical disk drive to USB emulation. Close the tray. And we'll go up here. I'll turn off the light. It's going to detect USB 1 or 2. Now I was doing it previously, so it did remember that I was at 17 seconds. You can change the track. Oh, this is all real time. You can see there's a huge delay. But all your steering wheel controls work. I'll wait for it to play. Go forward. I'll go back in a second. Of course, you can go back to track one. So there, uh, you can accomplish this basically with a portable CD player, batteries or a DC jack into your cigarette lighter, uh, and then an auxiliary cable that's plugged into the auxiliary port. So yeah, you could do it that way, or you could spend 20 30 $40 on a portable disk drive that has on the box TV connectivity, which would allow it to emulate a uh, USB flash drive uh, and it says that it's specifically emulating it with a like a FAT32 drive. So if you have a vehicle that does not have a disk drive that has USB that accepts music or pictures on a USB flash drive formatted as FAT32, a device like this may work for you. Um, I have tested it with uh, like mass manufactured pressed audio CDs. I've tested it with MP3 discs, where the MP3s are just on the root of the CD. I have not tested it with folders. Um, uh, I have tested burnt CDs that are just formatted as, you know, just WAV files. Um, everything works musically perfectly. As far as, like, pictures and videos, I haven't tested that, but I figured, hey... This is an option for those people that have binders of CDs, want to listen to their CDs instead of going through the time of ripping it, putting it on your phone, putting it on a flash drive. You know, hey, this is a kind of cheap and dirty way to get a CD player in your vehicle that doesn't have a CD uh, drive. Anyway, thanks.